The FX-05 Shukuatl is one of the most lethal weapons on the planet. Known as the Fire Serpent, some even compare it to the legendary AK-47, and its power is so brutal it can fire more than 750 rounds per minute. But how is it actually made? What makes it so powerful? Today, we'll travel to the General Directorate of Military Industry in Mexico, home to the factory where more than 20,000 units are produced each year ready to be deployed in thousands of secret operations, high-risk missions, and real combat zones. So, get ready because you're about to discover how Mexico's most powerful assault rifle is mass-produced. Let's begin. Step 1. Design and Development The birth of the FX-05 Jucotl was no ordinary project. It was a true national challenge. In the early 2000s, Mexico decided it would no longer depend on foreign rifles like the German G36 or the classic American M16. The mission was clear, create a 100% Mexican weapon that was as robust as an AK-47, but with greater precision, less recoil, and designed exclusively to equip the country's armed forces. To achieve this, more than 80 engineers and ballistics specialists gathered at the General Directorate of Military Industry, where they worked for months on the design. First, they conducted comparative tests with foreign rifles to identify their weaknesses. With that information, they fused the best features of various models to bring the first concept of the FX-05 to life. Today, the design continues to evolve with more modern variants, but the foundation remains intact. And here's a key point. What materials are used to shape this war machine? While it may seem simple, its greatest secret lies in its composition. The rifle's body is made exclusively from high-strength reinforced polymer, which makes it ultralight, economical, and easy to mass-produce. For the internal parts, they use aeronautical-grade aluminum, which is solid and durable without adding weight. And for the barrel and main mechanisms, they use heat-treated steel, capable of withstanding thousands of explosions and consecutive shots without deforming. The result is an astonishing weapon, a rifle weighing almost 4 kilograms, capable of firing more than 750 rounds per minute without losing an ounce of precision, a true war machine. With the design and all the materials ready, it's time to take it all to the factory and begin mass production. Step 2. Forging and Component Manufacturing Blocks of high-strength steel are taken directly to giant industrial furnaces that exceed 1,500 degrees Celsius. There, the metal is completely melted and poured into molds that will shape the critical parts, the barrel, the bolt, and the internal mechanisms, all designed to withstand the brutal explosion of each shot. Once cooled, the barrels move to ultra-precision milling machines for a key process, internal rifling. Spiral grooves are carved into the interior so that each bullet spins on its axis at thousands of revolutions per second when fired. This spin provides stability in the air and makes the FX-05 lethally precise, even at long distances. In parallel, the aeronautical-grade aluminum is machined with millimeter precision, forming the internal frame and the upper rails of the rifle. This metallic structure acts as a true armored skeleton that holds all the rifle's power. Meanwhile, the reinforced polymer is injection-molded to form the external parts, the buttstock, handguard, and covers. This material not only reduces weight, but also resists strong impacts and extreme temperatures on the battlefield. Finally, each finished part undergoes rigorous inspections. Uh, laser sensors and digital calipers verify everything to the millimeter to detect the slightest imperfection. Only when everything passes quality control are the parts moved to the assembly area, where they will be joined to form a true Mexican fire serpent. Step 3. Mechanism and Firing System Assembly With each component finished and approved, one of the most delicate processes begins, the assembly of the internal mechanism. This process is done by hand by specialized technicians who, with the help of precision tools and machinery, assemble each piece one by one to form the heart of the rifle. There is no room for error here. The slightest misplacement of a part could cause a jam, a breakage, or even an accidental discharge in the middle of a battle. First, the barrel is attached to the internal frame, aligning it with absolute precision to ensure each shot follows a perfect trajectory. Next, the high-strength bolt is installed, which holds the bullet just before the explosion that will propel it at nearly a thousand meters per second. Then the trigger, hammer, and safeties are integrated, completing the basis of the firing system. Here is one of the secrets that makes the FX-05 unique, its firing system. 
This exclusive mechanism allows for three different modes, single shot, controlled burst, and full automatic fire, capable of launching more than 750 rounds per minute. Finally, operators perform dry fire tests, simulating shots without ammunition. Only if each part responds fluidly and accurately is the rifle ready to receive its outer armor and take its final form. Step 4. Exterior Assembly and Finishing This is the moment when the FX-05 ceases to be a simple collection of parts and transforms into a combat rifle with an imposing appearance. The reinforced polymer covers are assembled one by one onto the internal frame. First, the adjustable buttstock, which adapts to each soldier's body and absorbs some of the recoil. Then, the handguard, which protects from the barrel's heat and offers better control during firing. And finally, the grip and side covers, which provide firmness and stability in extreme conditions. In parallel, the aluminum upper rails are put in place, acting as the rifle's backbone. Telescopic sights, holographic viewers, night optics, and even grenade launchers can be mounted on these rails, transforming it into a weapon that can adapt to the mission, whether it's a standard assault rifle or an explosive, destructive tool. Furthermore, the level of personalization is extreme. The rifle can receive desert, jungle, or urban camouflage finishes depending on the terrain where it will be deployed. Each one literally becomes a custom-fit suit for the soldier who carries it, adapted to their mission and the environment where they will fight. With this, the weapon is complete, a robust, versatile, and war-ready rifle. But before it goes to the battlefield, it must pass its most demanding test. Step 5. Live Fire Testing and Calibration We've arrived at the moment of truth. The complete weapon is taken to a military firing range where it must prove that everything designed on paper and assembled in the factory works perfectly. First, basic tests are conducted. Operators verify that the rifle fires smoothly without jams and that the feeding system responds perfectly in all three firing modes. Then comes the most delicate part, sight calibration. Specialized technicians adjust the optics with surgical precision so that each bullet hits exactly where the soldier aims whether at 100, 500, or even 1,000 meters away. The goal is clear. The FX-05 must be ultra-precise even in the most extreme conditions. And here comes the definitive test. After passing the basics, the rifle is subjected to a true torture test. It is fired continuously until the barrel overheats, it's covered in dust, mud, and water, thrown to the ground, and then fired again. All to prove that it still functions even after going through a living hell. If the weapon fails, it returns to the workshop without exception. But if it passes, it's proven that this rifle is not only powerful, but practically indestructible. Only then is it considered fit to proceed to its final process before leaving the factory. Step 6. Cleaning, Packaging, and Protection After passing all the tests, each rifle is partially disassembled and subjected to a deep cleaning. Powder residue, oil, metal particles, and even the slightest fingerprints from the technicians are removed. The goal is to ensure the weapon arrives with the soldier as if it were brand new. Then, packaging begins. Each rifle is placed with surgical precision in high-density foam molds, custom-made to fit the weapon's silhouette perfectly. This ensures that no sudden movement can damage it during transport. The set is secured inside a military-grade hard case, made of ultra-resistant polymer designed to literally survive a war. But that's not all. The case also includes essential accessories, a telescopic sight, cleaning kits, technical manuals, and calibration tools. Everything is perfectly organized in individual compartments, like a portable arsenal ready for use at any time. Finally, before leaving the packaging area, each case undergoes a final check and scan to certify that everything is in order. Only then is its departure authorized to hundreds of armories across the country. Step 7. Distribution and Deployment With the FX-05 fully assembled, tested, and protected in its military case, the last stage begins, putting it into circulation. From the logistical centers of the General Directorate of Military Industry, batches of rifles are organized and loaded into armored trucks, military convoys, and highly protected transport planes. We're not talking about just a few weapons. A single plant is capable of producing more than 20,000 units a year enough to equip entire brigades across the country. The destination of each batch depends on the mission. Some are sent directly to bases of the Mexican Army and National Guard. Others travel to strategic areas near borders, ready for high-risk operations. Here's a surprising fact. The FX-05 has proven so effective that it has already replaced more than 80% of the foreign rifles in service, becoming the standard weapon of the Mexican Army. This is not just a rifle. 
It is proof that Mexico does not need to depend on anyone to defend its territory. To finish, tell us, did you imagine this whole process? Do you think it can measure up to giants like the AK-47 or the M16? Let us know your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to not miss the next factory tour.